When you think about services, is there any port number and service name popping into your mind? SSH 22, FTP 21, HTTP 80, HTTPS 443 and so on. These are the default ports and services. But the thing is, it doesn't have to be that way. Administrators can and in some cases should change the ports of services they bind. So they can bind HTTP2, for example, port 22, if that's okay for them. From the attacker's perspective, we, the pen testers, should be aware of this. Remember the previous lecture. Nmap listed the services right next to the open ports. So in this lecture, we will talk about Nmap's service detection feature so that you will ensure which services are running on which ports. Nmap's service detection feature can be enabled with the sv-sv parameter. Let's use Nmap's help guide to learn more. So I will clear my screen first and then type nmap-help and then grab backslash dash s v. It says probe open ports to determine service version info. If this looks scary at first, this grab command, no worries. We simply read Nmap's help guide and then grab the sv-sv parameter. Don't forget the escape character before the dash, this one. As it reads, this parameter probes ports to determine service and version info. So let's give it a try. Remember the command we run previously? Great. We will continue from that point. You can simply access by typing by pressing up arrow on your keyboard. Okay, I can use this one. Type the command nmap and your IP address 174.132.131.132 and then dash n dash p 21 22 23 139 33 89 and then dash s we this command this sv command takes much longer because it sends and receives the packets and tries to understand which application is running behind so you will notice there are additional service and version info in the output like this and like this one open ssh 4.7 linux telnet d samba workgroup workgroup microsoft windows 98 and bios ssm etc etc so now it is possible to narrow down on the target services since we know the details about it. Let's move on to the next lecture.